Hey welcome my name is Martin I'm the creator of super mega space game here is game dev garage I'm making Cocos creator tutorials in this channel if you want to see other tutorials check links in the description and if you want to more about me and my projects also you can check links in the description so uh, if you find these videos valuable and helpful uh, please consider subscribing and leave comments below so if you let me know uh, which topics you are interested in i can make tutorials as you wish uh, so in this tutorial uh, we are gonna make a virtual joystick let me show you uh, what kind of joystick we are gonna make uh, this is this is gonna be a virtual joystick to control a player in the scene uh, this game is uh, one of uh, one of my games uh, I completed last month as you can see I can control the player with this uh, virtual joystick here uh, we can move slow or move fast this game is also interesting if you want to check uh, check this out uh, check links in the description so maybe you like it so we're gonna make the joystick here from scratch okay let's start so we are going to start with a empty project actually it's not empty but the scene is empty for now so let's put our joystick graphic here yeah we have a joystick base image and we have a joystick ball so let's rename it we are gonna uh, move this uh, joystick ball to show uh, which position our joystick and we are going to use the touch input and uh, touch move and touch start uh, and touch end events to track uh, player input so i will just uh, start with a script named touch input so let's edit this one Yeah, let's clear a little bit. So now I will define several properties here. Uh, actually, I will copy and paste because I don't want to lose much time. So we will have a touch uh, joystick ball uh, as a node, uh, CC node, and joystick vector as the information that we store, the joystick position, uh, to be able to use uh, from other uh, scene elements and joystick max, joystick max is the maximum uh, length of the joystick vector we can uh, we allow uh, this means if you touch and move uh, the joystick ball will be uh, traveling around here so actually we want to limit it with 100 uh, units as you can see the uh, circle uh, radius is 100 uh, so we are going to limit it in the edge of the circle so this is going to be the 100 um, let's start with uh, on load so first we are going to register uh, events this is going to be like this this dot node dot event tip uh, touch move will trigger joystick touch move uh, function here uh, so we are going to use the uh, root node of the joystick as uh, input listener actually we will need touch start to uh, start the touch uh, event and touch end to stop things and touch cancel also required uh, that means if we leave uh, our finger or uh, mouse inside the node size it will trigger touch end if we uh, go out of the uh, node size and uh, make touch out uh, touch up uh, um, this will trigger uh, touch cancel event so that four events are required to work correctly and here we are going to start with touch start function here joystick touch starts 
events that will include our event data uh, called here actually we can move, move this thing up to keep things organized because start happens first then moves happens then touch end or touch cancel happens this way it's better let's touch position now get the touch position here event dot get location location yeah and this will get our uh, touch position then we need to convert this position to uh, local coordinates because this is screen space co coordinate or uh, world space coordinate sorry not screen space actually world space coordinate so local touch position equals this dot not dot convert to not space ar touch position that will get the touch position uh, vector and convert to uh, node space uh, anchor relative so it's gonna be suitable to calculate everything for us N now we are gonna set the joystick vector this dot joystick vector equals local touch position okay so other um, other elements can track this value to uh, determine their uh, their animation. So this is okay. Now let's implement a touch move. Actually, I will copy and paste because we have similar things here. Same happens for this. Um, gets the position but before it it gets touched because uh, on touch move we also have uh, we we can have more than one touches and we are gonna uh, consider just first touch as a touch point if you hit uh, maybe you touch with your three fingers only first touch will be tracked the others are gonna be ignored so we have the local position of touch and convert it to the node space now let's go for touch and function joystick touch and function the position is not important because touch and will just uh, restore the position of the joystick to center so this dot joystick joystick vector equals cc dot vector 2 dot 0 this is a predefined value uh, in vector 2 0 0 we could also set uh, x to 0 and y to 0 but not important now it is okay so uh, it seems fine let's uh, add something to set position of the joystick ball okay set joystick ball position Postilum. then yeah this will set our joysticks joystick balls position joystick ball dot set position boss this is a node as you can see here so we have a set position function for nodes and it will visualize the current position of the joystick okay let's test this out we, we are gonna drag and drop touch input script to joystick base node we need to link the joystick ball here and we are able to uh, adjust limits but we didn't just implant implement it yet so let's test now and see what happens 
um, or before testing uh, maybe we should check here because we didn't add this set joystick ball position to our code on touch start we need to set joystick position into the local touch position and same for the other one touch move and uh, same for the touch ends because we need to reset the position to center when we leave the joystick and all okay let's test it out okay as you see it follows my mouse cursor but it's not limited yet it goes everywhere when i when i leave it doesn't work but we need to check it out let me check it out why it doesn't work okay on touch and ah sorry we should first set the vector zero and set the position to zero also let's see yeah when i uh, leave the mouse it's, it goes to center position again okay now let's limit the uh, joystick vector here so i will define a function limit joystick vector yeah so let uh, we first uh, calculate the magnitude of the joystick vector to limit it to 100 or what we predefined yet before <coughs> input magnitude equals joystick vector dot mag this is a mag function gets the magnitude of the vector so if input mag is larger greater than this dot joystick, joystick max so we are gonna Limit it here. Joystick vector dot multiply self. This dot joystick max divided input mag. This will normalize our vector size to jo joystick max. Okay. And let's add this to our functions we made before um, this will be just before this set joystick ball position and we'll handle the local touch position same for touch move and actually we don't need to set for touch end because touch end goes to zero directly yeah it seems fine let's test it out yeah as you can see it's limited to 100 it doesn't go out good now let's add uh, a player character here to animate based on the joystick input so this will be our player and I will make a, a controller script for it um, player I drag and drop player script to player node and let's edit this script now I need to clean here first we're gonna need updates because we will control the joystick position and animate the character here so we need to link uh, to uh, touch input to get the joystick vector uh, value from it touch input 
So normally, if it uh, it was a node, we can we could get this uh, uh, node like this. Uh, we can also get our custom components. We can use require require um, touch input. In this way, uh, we are going to get uh, the touch input uh, type directly and we can use it here, this, that, touch input, that, joystick, vector. Let me check the vector name, yeah, it's joystick vector, touch input, okay. This is the value we are taking into account to calculate uh, the position. So first, let's get position of this node, player node. This dot node dot get position, and let's add position, add self. This vector value yeah maybe we can multiply with Delta time yes it will multiply with Delta time with the joystick vector and add to the current position uh, of the node, player node. Let's check it out. Is everything okay? Yeah, we need to link the touch input here. But actually, we can rename it. Or maybe leave that alone, no problem. Let's test it out. Yeah, let's see. No, it doesn't work. Uh, we should cross our fingers. Let's check it out. Ah, okay. I see. We need to set the position of the node. We calculated the new position, but didn't set to the node. Node set position. Yeah, now it should work. Let's see. Yeah, it works. Maybe it's slow. We can adjust the speed. Uh, for example, we can multiply with 3. With uh, DT. Yeah, it's much better. So this is how we can use a uh, virtual joystick in our project in Cocos Creator. Uh, if you want to see more tutorials, please consider subscribing and hit the bell and leave comments below about your interests. Uh, maybe if you want uh, different topics, I can work on it and make tutorials for you. So check links in the description, check links in the corner and see you on next videos. Bye.